everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make teddy bears. I think I made teddy bears before but I want to make these a bit different so I hope you like this. I'm so sorry because this video is really really long but I hope you will enjoy it anyway. So let's get to the table and work on it. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I made this print sheet for you guys so you can make these uh, small um, boxes for putting a teddy bear into it and you cut them out and you fold it like I have shown you here and then you glue it together. I'm going to show you how I did that and you will end up with a tiny cute box uh, for your teddy bear when we are done with the teddy bears. So these small boxes here for the teddy bears, they are the easiest and the ones that are not taking too long to make. Uh, so I'm sorry that this video is going to be really really long, but it took me a few days actually to make the teddy bears. So I hope you like them anyway. So here we got the back side of the box put in place, making sure it is standing right up. And you got one in blue and you got one in pink. Now let's get to the teddy bears. I am using some caramel colored uh, clay here and I'm actually using the grid behind the little glass plate that I'm working on for the height of my teddy bears and I don't want it to be no longer than around two centimeters tall and you don't want it to be more wide than one and a half centimeter I think it is. Uh, so that it fits into the little box that we made. So first was the body, it's like a teardrop, then a rounded shape for the head. And now I'm working on the nose part so that the nose will um, be um, bigger or thicker than the head itself. Um, it's hard to explain, but you can see here how I am kind of um, shaping the nose part. I am using a dotting tool to make a uh, tiny dot where I want the eyes to be on the little teddy bear and um, I'm still shaping it and making sure it's flat on the bottom um, and you just keep shaping it until you are happy with the shape. I took the tiniest straw I could find and I cut it in half and this way I could make the smile on the teddy bear and this actually um, you really don't need to do this because you won't see that when we put on the flock so it was actually unnecessary. Here I am going to make the legs for the little teddy bear so I first uh, rolled out a log of the clay and then in one end I'm kind of uh, rolling that to a point keeping the foot part flat like that and then I am going to place them here on each side of the tummy making sure it is uh, still uh, sitting flat on a surface you can use another glass plate for making sure it's flat and then I'm just making sure that everything is really, really well connected here. There you can see I was testing that it was still flat in the bottom and it was perfect. I keep working on this until I'm happy with the result of it and then it is time for baking it. If you want to, you can make a mold of this little guy and then you can make even more of these teddy bears. I'm using my bacon bond here on the back side of the little teddy and then I'm placing two balls of clay, one for the head and one for the bottom part of him. And I'm molding and squeezing and making sure that everything looks exactly like I want to with this little 
uh, back side of the body. You do can go and bake him after this one if you rather want to do that because this is a small project and it can be really fiddly to sit with but I am going to keep working on this before I bake him again because otherwise this will take me like forever to make this little teddy bear. When I'm happy with the connection from the front and the back of the teddy bear I am using a tiny piece of clay to make a little tail for him because I want this one to be a little rabbit but if you want it to be a teddy bear then you can just make um, the ears for it and then no tail that would be all fine as well but I want the little rabbit here so I'm using again a little tiny bit of pick and bond to make sure that the tail will stick where I want it to go I made a lot of details in this bunny tail and if you are going to put the flock on there as I am going to that really uh, isn't necessary because you won't see it but if you're going to paint the little teddy bear or leave it as it is then it uh, really is uh, a good idea to make just some form of texture. I just measured here that he's still able to go into the little box with the tail and it works perfectly. Then I am taking another piece of clay and I'm rolling it so that it has a point in both ends. This is for the ears. So I have the pointy thing here for the rabbit ears. And I of course made two of them. Now I'm using a tiny bit of bacon bond here to place the ears because we have the baked clay and the non-baked clay. So I want to make sure that the ears will go uh, will be staying where they need to go. Um, place the ears and then make sure that they are sitting right. I'm just kind of uh, scraping the clay down so that it really uh, adheres to the uh, done rabbit here. Be careful that you do not squeeze the back side of the rabbit while doing this uh, and that might be a reason for you to bake it before you do the ears. Then I am rolling out a piece of black clay as you see me do here and I'm going to make two eyes and the little nose for the rabbit right here. So I'm rolling the small pieces for the eyes, placing a tiny bit of the bacon bond and then I'm just taking my tool here and placing the eye into the bacon bond and they are a bit big uh, and that's because I want the um, flock on there. If you don't want the flock you might make the eyes a tiny bit smaller than I did here. Again bacon bond for placing the nose and the nose is just um, a tiny um, slice of the cane that we rolled here. It's not baked. But now I am going to bake this before I make the arms. I did let him cool down and here he is. I think he turned out really really cool. Now to the arms of this little rabbit here. So I'm just again rolling a piece of the caramel colored clay. Rolling them first into a ball and then oblong. And there I have the arms for this little guy. I am using bacon bond to make sure that they will stay in place. So just a tiny bit of bacon bond here. And then of course I am cleaning my tool, placing the little arm and I am again pushing the clay around with this little tool so that it is kind of um, adhering to the body and it looks like it's one piece instead of a piece that has been added on. Do the same thing to the other arm and then bake the little guy again.
So here he is, a little guy. I am going to use my flock. You can use him as he is right now, you can paint him, you can actually do whatever you want to, but I am going to put some flock on here. So first of all, I'm going to use a pink flock for the inside of the ears. So I'm putting glue all over the inside of the ears where I want this flock. Then I am going to use my um, tweezers here to just uh, put this flock in there. I'm kind of stuffing it in there, turning it around and then kind of knocking off the rest of it. And that is it for the pink fluff. Then I am going to put some brown fluff on the body of this little rabbit. So I'm starting with the bottom of him. And again, I'm spreading glue where I want it. Uh, don't spread glue all over the body of it at once. Take it in small uh, times. And then um, normally I would let the little body rest for a few hours before I continue so that the uh, flock that I already put on there will stay where it's supposed to go but you can work a little longer uh, as long as you don't have to have your hands where you have the flock again I'm knocking it off him and then I have to let him dry now I decided for a grayish color on the tummy so here I am placing my glue on the tummy again and then I will uh, take the flock for this part and stuff it on there again with my pliers making sure it's really in uh, the glue here and then knock the rest off and uh, again I will let him dry before I continue. Then I'm taking the next part of the body again gluing it and putting flock on the and I'm gonna continue with that until I have the flock all over the little body of him. It's a big job and you need to let him dry between the uh, parts you're doing, otherwise you will uh, risk taking it all off again. And we really don't want to do that because it takes a long time to get it on. Anyways, continue with this. You can always go in a place where you already did glue on flock and glue some more on there if there, you have kind of a bald spot. I noticed that this microphone today has a weird sound on it. I don't know what's happening and it won't let me do otherwise so I'm sorry about the sound. Um, I'm going to take a tiny bit of white paint and make some dots here in the eyes and on the nose but you don't need to do that. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.